Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we once again talk about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are a package for creating customizable stories like those we know from Instagram, a keyboard that protects the user from keylogger attacks and screen capturing, a package for the easy implementation of native advertisements and seven more awesome releases that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, then subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the releases of week 53. We start off very romantic with the package Tinder Swipe Card, which is a fork of Tinder Card but with the additions that you can display images from an URL. It supports recent versions of Flutter. You can use swipe effects and you're able to show multiple images in a single card. Next, we got a package about data formatting. To be more precise, the package FHIR YAML helps you to transform your JSON data to YAML and it even supports the formatting conventions of PubSpec YAML files. With the next package I have to admit that I didn't understand what it was all about because I was not familiar with the term flavors in the context of apps. My research showed that flavors refers to environments that can be used to develop multiple variants of an app. And this plugin GoFlavor resolves flavor dependency with UI and configuration. If you want to dig deeper into the topic, you'll find some useful links in the video description. If you want to save time while working with daytime, then have a look at Flutter Time Ago. This package helps you to format daytime or milliseconds in seconds ago, minutes ago, hours ago, days ago and from now. If you're searching for a very simple solution to create a progress indicator and a loading message, then check out Legacy Progress Dialog. Your app can be as good as it is. If it suffers from performance, then you will suffer as well. That's why it doesn't hurt to measure performance from time to time. You can do this, for example, with the package Benchmark, which offers you a full-featured library for writing and running Dart benchmarks. Just as there are always new fashion trends in the fashion industry, there also seem to be various trends in the field of UI design such as the new morphic design for which I once made a Figma tutorial and perhaps a new trend will be launched with the next package called Glass Morphism, which helps you to implement the Glass Morphic UI. Advertising is a common way to finance yourself and the development costs of your app. If you want to go this way, try the native AdMob Flutter package, which is number three of the week and helps to create native ads easily purely in Dart using platform views and Google's AdMob SDK. Last week I briefly talked about the importance of security to introduce the package Random Password Generator. This week our security repertoire will be expanded with the number two of the week, Flutter Secure Keyboard, providing a mobile secure keyboard to prevent keylogger attacks and screen capturing. And here the story ends with the final package of the last release week of 2020 with a modest 6 likes story for creating Instagram-like stories with rich animations and customizability. Awesome, just as the story of this channel. The channel has grown faster than I ever expected. If you want to be part of the story, subscribe to this channel. I'm so happy that my videos are so well received and helpful. One day I might turn this hobby into a profession and then invest more time and produce more content. Until then, I'm enjoying the journey and the growing community. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a wonderful week and see you soon.